Natural sources of energy are abundant, but are not always available when needed. How can daytime warmth be preserved until deep into the night, or cool night temperatures maintained far into the day? Convention has been to exploit the thermal storage capacity of solid materials, such as timber, stone, bricks, or concrete. But these materials have a short threshold for thermal storage and warm up over time. In less than three hours, heat will transfer into the building, increasing both interior temperatures as well as the need for air conditioning. Compounding this problem is the desire to fill a space with natural light. Since windows have virtually no thermal storage and conduct temperature, ridiculous amounts of energy are wasted trying to keep a light-filled space comfortable. Reducing energy needs and dependency on fossil fuels means reducing peaks in power consumption and shifting portions of the load away from periods of maximum demand while keeping interior room temperatures stable and comfortable. This makes improved thermal storage methods critically important when it comes to energy conservation in buildings. Since we don't typically build dwellings underground and prefer natural light, one compelling option for improved thermal storage is the use of a phase change material, or PCM. PCMs have a heat storage per unit volume that far surpasses that of most other materials. As ambient temperatures rise, the PCM changes phases from solid to liquid. In this example, the PCM begins to melt at roughly 22 degrees Celsius. Over eight hours, it will continue to melt, reaching a maximum temperature of only 28 degrees Celsius, while the brick warms to 35 degrees Celsius. Remarkably, PCM absorbs heat without actually warming up. As the environment cools, the PCM solidifies gradually, releasing the latent heat it's stored. This remarkable material is at the core of Glass X, the world's first thermodynamic glazing system. Glass X is an all-in-one passive solar design offering energy efficiency that surpasses every known wall system and, remarkably, does so while allowing natural light to flood a space. It relies on two technologies to achieve this, the PCM core, which stores solar heat, and a prism, which creates a variable G-value. The PCM core of Glass X is comprised of salt hydrates hermetically sealed in clear polycarbonate. It has a latent thermal storage of up to 375 BTUs per square foot, which means on average 6 to 10 hours before heat is transferred. This solar heat storage has two effects. One, shifting peak energy demand later into the night when temperatures typically fall off. And two, reducing average interior room temperatures by 3 to 5 degrees Celsius, drastically reducing the need for air conditioning. Conversely, in winter, Glass X maximizes solar gains, charging up the PCM core, allowing it to radiate throughout the night as it solidifies. On average, this will reduce the heating load of a building by 150 to 200 kilowatt hours per meter squared per year. How does Glass X know what season it is? That's where the prism comes in. Glass X's prismatic outer layer reflects solar radiation in summer months when the sun is at a higher angle. In winter months when the sun is lower in the sky, the prism allows for increased solar gains. In effect, this gives Glass X a variable G value based on seasonal conditions. Completing the all-in-one passive solar design is quadruple insulated glazing with inert gas and low E coatings, which provides insulation equivalent to that of an R12 wall. With at least one-third coverage on a south-facing facade, Glass X can reduce a building's heating and cooling load by 30 to 50 percent annually. In some buildings, Glass X has actually removed the need for any air conditioning or heating whatsoever. It uses no dark tinting and is entirely passive, containing no electronic or moving parts. This means Glass X requires no maintenance or costly part replacements. In fact, the PCM core of Glass X is guaranteed for 100 years. We face 21st century problems. It's time for 21st century solutions. It's time for Glass X.